Can I talk? The best way to explain to you what we're doing here and what the struggle is about is with this map. Before I, t I go to the map, after 67, we, in 67, we liberated the area and uh, the lands in Judea and Samaria are uh, all privately owned land where a person, whether Jew or, an, or Arab, proves that he bought an area with, with a Kushan, with a certain piece of paper called a Kushan, or state land, which is over 90% of the area, belongs to the state of Israel. That's where the com settlements, the communities were founded, on land that doesn't belong privately to anyone, state land. Over the years, unfortunately, the civil administrations, which is a body that's supposed to watch the state land for the future of the Jewish people, has closed its eyes to the Arabs just grabbing state land, um, especially since Oslo, but even more so uh, uh, for the past two years and, uh, and two, three years, where they are funded by millions of dollars by anti-Israeli organizations like USAID, Oxfam, and many other, and the Dutch government, the Spanish government, and, and many other, who fund the Arabs with millions of dollars, who are then able to buy tractors, the most modern equipment, and just go over state land and take over state land. And that is how we have a situation where so many areas in the area here where you see it's taken by Arabs and has been lost to us. So we said, instead of sitting in our kitchen and just quetching and saying, what can we do about it? We got a map of the area between El Azar, where we are here, and Alon Shkut, with, with um, what's, whatever is still available in state lands. Whatever is in pink is whatever is still available in state land. And little by little, we have started taking over, what does that mean? Redeeming those areas by planting uh, uh, um, olive trees or grape, uh, vi vi vines, olive trees or vines, and um, and little by little, our plan is, by the end of this year, to have finished redeeming all those pink spots with areas. And as you can see, and as you know, I know you have filmed the past all over, we protect the trees with those brown little plastic things. Uh, um, and little by little, we have a foothold here. And I think that the Arabs who burned our, our, our uh, pipe a few weeks ago, in the beginning didn't make trouble because they didn't take us seriously but the more they saw that we started be, that we are very serious and that we are here to stay and that we're very determined they started with violence but they don't know who they're dealing with and anybody who messes around with us we are just going to be even more determined to say the very very clear message the land of israel belongs to the people of israel and nobody will take it away from us